long ago you got hurt someone did you wrong i can see it in your eyes it's like your fire is gone across your face it is written across your face if you want to talk i'm right here not gonna leave your side just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face it is written across your face if you want to go out we can go out you can hide away just for one night but if you want to cry just let it out i'm by your side Good morning guys, welcome back for another day in the life vlog video. This video is going to um, be basically week three of the quarantine stay at home time. Um, you guys have really been loving the day in the life videos and I appreciate you guys letting me know that with your views and your thumbs up and your comments um, because that's what keeps me making them for you guys. So I said I would do a weekly day in the life video kind of through this whole process um, for documentation to look back on and also just um, because we are all a little socially not socializing very much right now and this feels in some way to me at least maybe not to you some form of socialization um also i just think it helps to share weekly kind of how i'm doing how we're doing as a family um and so that's what this video is going to be as you guys saw i already went through my whole morning routine so it is 8:55. Um, <clears throat> so 8.55. Um, so it's almost 9 o'clock. We, it is Friday when I'm filming this, so it is the end of week three of our staying at home quarantine order. Um, n let, let me think. So this week, um, I feel like, so week one was tough for obvious reasons. Week two, the video I shared last week, I was feeling really good and in a really good headspace. And then week three, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I was kind of up and down this week. Um, and the reason for that is just because the president, I knew it was going to happen, but still hearing it, um, the president extended the social distancing order um, until April 30th. So that was kind of something new. Our governor also, um, the, you know, the way that they word things is so weird because we were told to stay at home and only go out if we needed to three weeks ago. But then just a few days ago, um, he kind of made it like an official order, but there's still like, you're still allowed to go out and go hiking and like go out and walk trails. It's just like stay away from other people and all the non-essential businesses were already closed. So I don't really know that it's really anything different and people were kind of criticizing him for that because it's already was like in place. Um, but the National Guard is here um, and so they're distributing supplies and kind of setting up backup facilities, I guess. Um, I think our state is doing okay. I don't really pay too much attention to the numbers, but periodically I'll check in just to kind of see where we're at. Um, but those, those things kind of this week were, um, caused a little bit of like, oh, like, you know, just that feeling of like, when is it going to end? Um, if I'm being honest. So, you know, I, I'm not even, I knew mentally that it was going to go longer than, you know, I knew it was going to definitely go until the end of April, but still once it was like, okay, end of April, it was kind of, um, a little bit to take in. Um, as far as like homeschooling and things in our day-to-day -day life, 
Um, we've been doing really well there. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on how this has affected our homeschool year because it's actually changed it a lot, more than I thought. Um, and I'll do a whole like sit down and chit chat with you guys about that specifically. Um, and so look out for that video. Um, we've been going outside every day we've been very blessed to have really good weather we've been going where there's like lo um li long sidewalks and um the kids are like riding their scooters and um we've been going outside every single day and that is a game changer um but we've been staying away from all the people and we miss our people so much um so it's just kind of like <clears throat> keeping your spirits high and the motivation um, to maintain a good headspace um, took a little bit more effort for me this week. That's the summary. Um, I could feel my mind kind of heading in a ooh, downward direction and then I would have to quickly course correct. And I do that with, I do that a few different ways. One of them is I quit watching, I don't watch the news, I quit reading news. Um, I, get in God's word more than I usually do. Um, listening to several, you know, um, podcasts and reading the Bible and journaling my feelings and just kind of getting all of that out helps me bring my head back in the right direction. Um, I am going to go uh, grocery shopping on Monday. So um, that's after like the new Costco rules. So that's kind of different. I'm going to have to just go by myself. Um, I think that that is good, but I also think it's tough for a lot of single parents um, because like the grandparents technically shouldn't be watching their kids or friends. So how can you go grocery shopping if you're a single mom and you can't bring your kids with you and you have more than one? So that's kind of <clears throat> different. Um, but overall, I would say this week kind of felt a little bit up and down, I guess is the right word. More of like, I want, it's, you know, I, I always like to be honest, but sometimes when I say things, I'm like, I know someone's going to be so rude, but more of like, I want to know when it's going to end. And I've said that all along, like, when is this going to end? Because if I know when it would end, it would help me so much mentally, but I know that there's lessons for me to learn in not knowing when it's going to end. But I want to like, plan a summer vacation and I'm so hesitant to book anything like even for late into the summer like are we going to be able to go to the beach at all this year like when when do they when do they think it's going to be safe for us to go back out and I know what we're doing with flattening the curve so don't come for me I know all of the science but even with doing that I know it's for it's to not inundate the hospitals where there's so many sick people at one time. But even with doing that, this virus is not going away. It's not gonna go away. It's gonna be there in August. It's gonna be there in July. So it's just reducing the amount of people that have it all at once, but it's going to be there. So I'm just wondering like, when are the officials going to say, okay, now is the right time where people can resume work? and where we live, where like our whole city can open back up. Um, there's gonna be like long lasting economic implications in our state more so than any other state just because of how much tourism fuels where we live. And so um, I've just kind of been thinking those thoughts. So that is where I'm at. Let me know if you relate, but overall we're doing okay. We've got a good routine down. We're getting outside. I'm working out every day and those things help. So I wanted to give you guys my update on how we're doing. Please let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. Um, as far as what we're going to be doing today, I have a shortened school day with the kids. Um, we need to, we're going to do our morning basket time Bible and our resurrection eggs because we're leading up to Easter. Um, and then we're going to do a science lesson and then that we're just going to, that's all we're going to do as far as like book subjects today because we are going to go out um for a nature walk today so we'll probably do that after lunch i'll bring you guys along and i have a few other ideas that we'll see what i get to today um but i'm also gonna try and work out this morning before i 
before we go out for that nature walk because I know after that I'm probably gonna be pretty pooped. Um, the weather's been beautiful, seriously that, I'm so thankful for that. The weather here has been amazing. Sunny, 70s, it's just been perfect. So we have to get out and enjoy it um, and that totally helps with my, um, with my mental capacity. So that's what we're getting into today. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments below, but this is just going to be a day in the life. Um, I, as I said, I'm taking kind of a shortened, um, school day, uh, with the kids because we had a few breaks on the calendar that are no longer happening and we are going to be finishing far earlier. I'm giving away my update, um, but I will sit down and talk more about that. Um, we're, we're going to be finishing a lot sooner than, than I thought, which is fine. It's fine. Um, it'll give us a lot of freedom through the summer, but um, yeah, that's what's going on. So that's why we're having a shortened day today. So I'm going to gather up the kids, make another cup of coffee. We're going to sit down. We're going to read um, our Bible time together and then um, do a science lesson. The origami master has perfected his craft. Mm -hmm. We have a whole army of, what are these things? Beetles. Beetles. A whole colorful army. I finally ordered some actual origami paper for him. And, oh, there's another one. <laughs> and I ordered this off of Amazon and he was very excited to receive it. The paper makes a big difference, you said, right? So if your kids are wanting to learn origami, I'll link this on my Amazon page. It was a really good deal. Um, but we can't make a thousand beetles, okay? Oh. <laughs> Look at all these guys. Now he can do it without even watching a video. Very good, very good. Also, I'm gonna be doing another video for you guys on, we're doing a little bedroom makeover clean out. So I have all of my boys' like bedroom stuff out here. It's kinda getting emptied out in here and you guys will have to watch that video to see what we're doing. But um, I've been kinda working on that a little bit too. So, got a few little things going on, but we're gonna go downstairs, guys, come on. Okay. And we're gonna start school. And in the morning, let's see here. Very cute. Stay positive. Yeah. I love it. Very adorable. All right, come on, Landy. and when Joy died. Instead, as their legal stepfather, Jack would assume custody of the two boys. Both Jack and Joy were relieved to have the matter of the boys' custody behind them. They had another reason to be happy as well. Neither of them was experiencing pain. In fact, they both felt great in health. By December 1957, Joy was up and about and could walk a mile and do some gardening. And they thought she was gonna die, like, within months. It was a turn for the best and that astonished those who watched and which Jack called a miracle. Jack felt so energized that he began to work on a new project. During 1957, he had been approached by the Episcopal Radio TV Foundation in Atlanta, Georgia to write and record a series of talks for broadcast on the radio in the United States. After some negotiation, Jack agreed to do this, but he did not really get underway on the project until the start of 1958. The topic he decided on for the series was the four loves, examining the four types of love mentioned in the New Testament. These four types of love in the Greek were stored. Okay, so I want you guys to look at this painting, La Joie de Chose by Armand Point. Okay, so everybody come gather over here. Landon, don't pull it, just leave it. And everybody look at it. That is Lady Chose. So this artwork was painted by the French artist Armand Point. The title of this painting, La Joie des Choses, it is French for the joy of things. Why do you think the artist gave that painting the title? Because she looks really happy, she's feeling flowers on her hands. What do you think, Liv? 
Um, probably because she's outside in the field. Uh, it looks like they're gardening. Okay, so we are going, I'm going to read a description and then we're going to take a turn and you're going to guess which flower that you think it is, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Kylie's going first. This flower has six petals and is generally cup-shaped and grows from a bulb. There are over 3,000 different varieties of this flower. They come in all colors except blue and can be solid, striped, or speckled. These plants have long, smooth stems and leaves. Most varieties do not have a very strong scent. Their bulbs can be used as an onion substitute in a recipe. This flower originated in the Ottoman Empire, which is present-day Turkey. In the 1500s, they were imported to Holland, and in 1592, a man named Carolus Clusius wrote a book about these flowers. His popular book stirred a sensation, and everyone wanted to plant them. The value of this flower's bulb increased so much that they were used as currency. Some bulbs were not, were even worth as much as a house. Which flower do you think that is? This one. Six petals. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Oh, well then, this is the only other plant that has six petals. This it one. is, yes, it is the tulip. Good, Caleb, that is the tulip. So tulip. take this Can I go label again? and put it there. Can I go again? And that was my turn, Caleb. Oh. Heavy and dry. That looks cool. So if we put, like, some protective... Some lavender. Yeah, if we put some protective plastic over it, then it would stay like that forever. Can I, what about that flower? Okay. Wow. So that's cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens. Can I cut it, Mommy? No, I'll do it because I don't want them to snap. This one's. How many plants did you do? I think this one's mine. It is. This is Caleb's. See yours? Hey, mine's in the original I put it in. So if you were to put plastic over it, like laminate it, it would last forever like that. I remember how I put a lot in different ways. <laughs> Is this Olivia's? Yes. Mm -hmm. Kayla, did you already look at yours? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so do it carefully, boys. And then just bring them over to the table. Careful, don't disrupt them. Bring them over here, show the oh, camera. Turn, let me see that look sign. Look at that huge leaf. So, and look at the root system. Yeah. Mom, look at this one. Let it's me see. It's going out. Yeah, good. That's how this one was the biggest. Mine is the biggest. <laughs> but, well, you have to see mine. Wait, look at mine. So here's Olivia's seeds that were growing in the window. We had some that were facing the direct sunlight and some that weren't. And so we see how that affected the growing, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah, mine was. So the root the systems are all visible. Okay, so the seeds that we planted in here, did they sprout? No. 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 They're no. dead. So, no, they, they, they're not dead. They were never alive. They never sprouted. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose out a couple this of our sunflower one. seeds really, Mom, and we're going to plant them in there. Please, one, please, please.
10 15 now and um we finished school for the day because like i said we're doing a lighter um school day today because we're going to do nature study this afternoon and so now i'm going to work out i'm going to be working out i'm going to be doing a weightlifting workout for my shoulders it's actually i think workout number eight on my at home weightlifting workouts i've gotten a lot of questions on what you need for those and the program sh um, tells you what you need but basically you can have a mat and then you need a pair of dumbbells. I have a little collection, but you just need two and you'd be able to do the workout. Um, so I'll have a link to my website down below if you guys wanna check it out. I think I'm doing number eight, if I remember correctly, um, but it's gonna be shoulders. And the kids are currently doing something that we've seen going around on social media, which is the chalk mosaic. So they are currently taping up their you got to make sure you push it down hard they're currently taping off their designs so the girls are going to work together and then the boys are going to work together um and so basically i'm sure you guys have all seen it but you color in different sections and then peel the tape off and then you have like a really pretty design so um that looks good. I would leave that one big because you have a lot of different small ones. Okay. So that's what they're gonna do while I work out. So time to get sweaty. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly finished my workout felt so good 35 minutes and done for the day um because we're gonna go hiking later so gonna get that activity in too and the kids are almost done with their um chalk mosaics so we're gonna show you guys the big reveal this was a fun thing for them to do so if you are looking for ideas feel free to to do this along with the rest of the whole country on quarantine doesn't it look cool they're peeling off the tape Hello. That's a fun idea, huh? Uh-huh. Do you guys like it? Yes, yes, I loved it. So they turned out pretty good. So it is 11 o'clock now and the kids finished up with their art chalk project outside. I came in and made myself just a protein shake. It's just protein powder and water to replenish my muscles. I put chicken to thaw in the microwave and I'm starting to get the kids lunch together. I'm just going to be having peanut butter and jelly, some veggie chips and grapes, something super easy today. Um, I like to, um, well sometimes we pack a picnic but today we're just going to go ahead and eat before we go out. Um, and then the chicken I am thawing, I'm going to marinade right here. Uh, with the rest of this island soyaki uh, marinade from Trader Joe's and then we will have that with um, some vegetables there and some of the fried rice I got 
um, in the last day in the life video I showed you guys that I went to Trader Joe's so that's what we're gonna be having for dinner so I'm just gonna let the chicken marinate while we're gone and then I will probably have my husband grill it for me um, when he gets home from work and then we'll have it with rice and vegetables something super easy um, for Friday night so now that it's 11 I am going to get a little bit of work done I have a few videos that I need to like schedule when they're gonna go live um, this upcoming week and including this one so there'll probably be quite a few uploads next week which will be fun um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and then I'll probably end up feeding the kids lunch around 1130 so I'm feeling very happy um, that we got everything done that I wanted to accomplish this morning by 11 so happy about that doesn't always work that way but today it did and I'm grateful so it is about 12 o'clock now and I am having my lunch I made these yesterday but these are those Trader Joe's um, chicken lime burgers and then I just have it like over veggies at the bottom the kids are having their lunch then we're gonna sunscreen fill up waters and we're gonna get out into nature um, my children hate sunscreen, so they fight me constantly to put sunscreen on. And, you know, I'm just tempted sometimes to allow them to get a really painful sunburn that hurts so bad when your clothes touch it. So what would you rather do? Um, bad sunburn. Bad sunburn. I would rather have sunscreen and wear a hand. We don't like to put it in the middle of my head. Sunscreen. Yeah, all these ones. I'm with Joe. We're getting ready to head out. For some nature time and I recently got these um, Merrill hiking shoes and I really like them a lot um, I will link them on my Amazon favorites page if you guys are looking for an affordable hiking shoe these things are really comfortable and you're not gonna slip they're good for lots of different terrains so I'm gonna get on my hiking shoes and all the kids are already loaded up in the car. They're clearly excited. I, um, my hands are super full, but I, <laughs> I, um, this is a terrible angle, but I will drop the camera. I just packed a few snacks. We all have our water and the kids opted for sunscreen over third degree burns. So good choice for them there, but, um, I just put it all in here. You guys always ask about this lately too. This is on Amazon, really recommend it. It has all of our snacks in here, so there's definitely room, um, but it's not like uh, big enough for like a huge baby diaper bag because a bunch of people have been asking me that. And then we just all have our waters. I got my shoes, sunglasses, sunscreen. So we're ready to go. You guys excited? Oh, yes. yes. Nature time's the best, right? Yes. We've been doing a lot of it since we've been on the quarantine. Yeah. yeah and it's helping yeah. a lot, huh? We, yes. take, we take walks every week. Every week. We always spend a lot of time in nature, but I feel like this has definitely made us spend even more time in nature. But it's also because the weather is so nice. So we're going to get out there and I'll show you guys some of the beauty that's just 30 minutes from our house. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. We get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, I'll never figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down hiking we found um, an area where there was a lot of boulders and so the kids were able to climb on those 
and we saw a humongous lizard, probably the biggest one we've ever seen out wow. in the wild. Yeah. Pretty cool. And let's see, we walked 8,000 steps. Wow. So that's a pretty good, good little hike. Definitely got some color. Felt good to get out in the open air. There were other people out, but we definitely kept at a safe distance and it was awesome. So now we are gonna head home. The kids are going to shower up because I announced to them while we were on the hike that the movie Onward, which is a new movie that was released early to Disney Plus, um, came out today. And can we just say a little thank you to Disney Plus for releasing new movies during this time. Thank it is giving you so us- much, um, it is giving us something to look forward to. So, um, the kids are probably going to shower when we get home, get on their PJs. We're definitely going to have a family movie night, um, and watch Onward together and probably have some kind of treat, um, like popcorn with jelly beans or something in there. So making the best of it, doing things at home. But I think today is going to be, end up being another pretty great day considering all things, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go home now and get clean because all that dust kicked up, I feel very dirty. <laughs> Little afternoon brew was necessary and I came home and I had a package delivery for a few things that I got for the boys' room. So these little baskets are gonna go on the wall to hold just a few books um, for their individual um, interests. Uh, near their beds. So those I ordered off of Amazon and then I got these chalkboard labels um, to label some bins in their closet. And then I also got these dividers to show. I won't end up using all of these, but I'll save them for something else. But um, I needed something to show where one boy's clothes end and where one begin. <laughs> so I got these off of Amazon as well for a shared closet. So I got that little, that little bit. So now I am just going to take a breather and drink this iced coffee. It's four o'clock now, all the kids are showering and um, I'm gonna sit down because I haven't sat down all day. And um, then tomorrow we're heading out to another nature spot. Um, and so I need to pack our lunch for tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna be driving a ways away it's about an hour hour 15 away and so we're gonna be out there for a while so I do want to pack um, our lunch for tomorrow so I'm gonna do that while I cook dinner make a mess in the kitchen at one time but right now I'm going to sit down and actually scroll on my phone I'm just gonna take a little breather and my kids are all showering so that's where we're at with this day in the life on this fine Friday of week three quarantine. So it is 5.15 now and I just finished packing and I have the hiccups. <laughs> I should probably wait to get on here until they go away. But I just finished packing. I'm just getting a bag. I just finished packing for our day out tomorrow so I figured I would show you guys what I packed um, for tomorrow so before I show you what I packed don't come for me for using plastic because I use glass too but when we're gonna be driving and out and about I like to have plastic so it doesn't get broken so I have uh, mine and Jake's um, peanut butter and honey sandwiches on, on Dave's killer bread and then the kids in here. I sliced up some oranges for us and then a bag of grapes for the kids. All of the kids got the Trader Joe's Pirates booty for um, their sna snack, these hiccups you guys. Um, and then Jake and I have some pretzels here. Then I sliced up a ton of carrots. If you guys watched the last day in the life, you'll laugh at that because we're almost through the huge bag of carrots um and then for dry snacks i just packed some cashews these are sriracha sunflower seeds from sprouts they are so good but they are spicy two protein bars one for jake and one for myself a little snack a treat for the kids and then four granola bars so that is everything. Oh, and for the carrots, I'll throw in hummus that I have in there. So that's what we're going to be having tomorrow for our little 
adventure day out together as a family because one thing to note through all of this <laughs> is that my husband's uh, job is considered essential. So he has been working like normal with really no modification at all. So um, that's a blessing, but it's also kind of scary. <laughs> so he's been going to work like normal so um we still are feeling the excitement of like the weekend because then dad can come adventuring with us so usually our weekends would be filled with sports and tournaments and all that stuff which we do love all of that and look forward to getting back to it but it has been nice to just have some empty time to really decide like, what do we want to do as a family this weekend? A lot of dog walks, a lot of just good family time. So that's the plan for tomorrow. The weather's gorgeous, so we got to get out and enjoy it. Honestly, we'd be doing that anyway. <laughs> Even without this, uh, we just would have a lot more options on where we could go. So we're going to go to a state park. They, The park is open, but... Um, when I say park, it's a state park. It's not like a playground park. Um, so it's vast, it's huge. And we'll pick a trail that doesn't have a lot of people on it. So um, that's the plan for tomorrow. So Jake is working out in the garage right now. I already did my workout and I'm glad I did because my energy is like, oh, I'm powering down. And so he's gonna grill the chicken. I'm gonna cook up dinner and that's where we're at. So sweet though is that my youngest daughter um, this is a picture of when it was take your kids to work day. Um, all my kids went with my husband and they met all of the people in the section that he works in. And one of the secretaries has become like Olivia's little pen pal. They write notes back and forth to each other and um, Olivia draws her pictures. And today, um, daddy came home with a letter from her um, from for doing her an awesome picture it was very very sweet and my husband also walked in with this box of decorate your own donuts so i guess that's going to be the movie treat tonight for the kids so you know he's basically a hero because he brought that home i'm glad there's only four though because i will not be partaking in that but i just thought that this little note was so sweet i love that my youngest has a little pen pal at my husband's work so super cute. Um, I actually did have all of the kids separate. That's something we've been doing um, with all this going on. So yeah, um, that's that's where we're at with the day. So going to start dinner here shortly and eat because all of that hiking has made everybody hungry. And um, I'm sure that that's why they're a little, little on the grumpy side right now. Making their own donuts before we start the movie. Yep. And then eating them while they're done, while yeah. our stomachs settle. Yeah. Well, mm. our Spread it on good. Not very good at this. Mm -hmm. Me neither. Oh. Okay. I wonder how they do such a good job. Yeah. I bet they use a machine. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Well, if you want pink, you can have it. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears turning down your